you can see a 16 by 16 foot yellow helicopter platform used during construction and now used during the tram's maintenance period. Additional platforms will be seen on the remaining towers further along our journey. Whoa! Whoa! Hello! As you no doubt already noticed, we experienced a swinging motion as the tram car transitions from the track cable over the tower saddle and back to the track cable. This motion result in the car moving from the flexible track to the rigid tower and back to the flexible track. The original tramway was designed and built by the Von Roll Company of Bern, Switzerland, and all moving parts and cables are Swiss made. The towers are American made. There's a total of 27 miles of various sized cables in the support, movement, and communication of the tramway. The largest of these are the track cables upon which we ride. They weigh just under nine pounds a foot, with each of these track cables 13,500 feet in length, therefore weighing a total of more than 61 tons. The halfway point on our trip is reached between towers two and three. This happens when we pass the other car on the downward journey. While it appears that the downward car is traveling much faster than we are, it's actually moving at exactly the same speed. Because both cars are tied together by the hauling cables, which move with the car. You see, the drive system at the valley station is pulling that car down, and in turn is pulling us up. The two cars are 34 feet apart when they pass. The Palm Springs Aerial Traveler was first conceived in the early 1930s by a young electrical engineer, the late Francis Crawford, who to this day is known as the father of the tramway. We're approaching Tower 3. Make sure you hold on for this tower. We will swing more than all the other towers. Half million dollars. All financed for the sale of the car. In April of 1930, the contracted with the Hello. undertake the construction and installation of these new. All right, I'm trails. awake now. At a total cost of well, just as in the very beginning, no tax dollars were used, and the cost of construction and the operation of the family was on its road. It is between towers three and four that we reach the longest span of our journey. The cable stretches for more than half a mile. Off to the left. North, north of the car is one of the most dramatic sights of our entire trip, the majestic spire of the Chino Cathedral Rock, visible testimony of the solid granite core of these mountains. As we continue our journey, the light zone changes and become more obvious. You'll see a variety of pine trees, including pinion, big cone, lodge pole, and white fir. Natural residents in the high country include deer, mountain lion, fox, bobcat, raccoon, and the California gray squirrel. The smallest of the five towers is tower number four, 57 and one half feet tall, located at an elevation of 7,576 feet above sea level. From there, the view is truly spectacular. Below, you will be able to see the many desert cities of Coachella Valley, and as far south as the Salton Sea, some 50 miles away. Off to the left of our travel is Coffin Craig, named in honor of 
Capital Falls. And to the right of our travel is San Gorgonio at 11,499 feet, the tallest mountain in Southern California. We are nearing the end of our journey now. Within the state park and wilderness are more than 54 miles of summer hiking trails and, in winter, many miles of snowshoe across country ski opportunity. This is, by the way, one of the very few pristine wilderness areas in Southern California. And it has been Welcome to the mountain station. We are at 8,516 feet above sea level, 2,595 meters. As we slowly approach the docked area, we will bump the sides. Please continue to hold on.